All right, so I wanted to make this quick video to show you guys some cool, neat little trick to make gold. So um, if you've ever been wondering, okay, so how do I generate more gold? What do I know what to sell on the auction house at what price? Because you maybe don't know what engravings are good for what class with what stats and all that stuff. And there's a neat little tool that, that will allow you to do that very simply and easily. So I want to share that with you today. So let's say you just got done uh, with your chaos dungeon for the day, right? You just got done with your chaos dungeon and your guardians, and you got a bunch of accessories in your bag. And you're like, okay, I could list them all for maybe like 50 bid, 150 buyout or something, try to get some 100 golds out of it. Uh, but you could be potentially missing out on a lot of good gold if you maybe have some good accessories in here, right? So this is where the nice little handy tool comes in. So this is going to be in the description uh, down in the video. So I'm going to post the link for this so you get access to this. This is uh, a tool that was created uh, by somebody from the community uh, of Lost Ark, and it is an absolute, uh, an absolute blessing. Uh, this website is going to be so useful, especially for a new player. Over time, you're not going to need it as much because as you put item into here, if you take time to read the information and kind of notice uh, what, what information you get out of this, you're going to start remembering what items are good, what items are bad, right? Um, so, but, uh, to learn, this is a fantastic item. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and simply mouse over all the items that I got from my run today, right? So, this one is going to be MP Efficiency Increase and Ambush Master with Endurance, okay? I already know <laughs> that this is not that great. So, MP Efficiency and Ambush Master. So, we're simply going to Master of Ambush. Here we go. Submit. And as you can see, it has zero perfect match, but it has some partial match. Pretty much the partial match is only going to be uh, Master of Ambush. Master of Ambush is the good trait. MP efficiency isn't that great. So this is going to be really, really straightforward. You're going to be able to uh, to see uh, that, okay, this item has a partial match. Partial match usually not that great. There's some cases where people might be able to buy. So if you get like a Master of Ambush with uh, maybe another not too bad DPS trait, like Lightning Fury maybe. Okay, so it seems like this is going to be like an option. It's going to be a perfect match. But you just go down the list here and you just look at it. So crit, barrage, enhancement, necromancy, right? So uh, barrage, enhancement. You're going to go and you're going to also have the other one, which is going to be necromancy. I know that necromancy is not used in any build. So I already know this is going to turn into zero perfect match. It's only going to be one partial match, which is going to be for the build for barrage enhancement. Uh, and then you just go down the list like that. You put all your items and you're going to end up knowing what is good and what is not good. So for example, this one here is Spirit Absorption Curse Doll. So we're going to do Spirit Absorption Curse Doll. There we go. So we're getting 11 perfect match. As you can see, it's a lot of um, it's a lot of 3 and 7 and 9, uh, which means that these are low priority for these classes, but they're still good options. So they're not bad. So there is potential here. Some of these classes uh, might be interested in buying out this item. Um, so it's not it's not a really, really, really good item, but it's not bad. It's not bad. So that means that you could try to put it on the ocean house. And then <laughs> it's zero quality, though. So <laughs> zero quality is not going to be that great, uh, but you can pretty much check it out. So you're simply going to go into the ocean house, register, put it in, or uh, even better, you can simply uh, mouse over the item. You can shift and, uh, sorry, uh, control and right click, and then you're going to do ocean house market value. And then you can edit the setting, try to see if there's anything similar on the auction house. And then uh, you can get an idea, right? So I kind of remove the name of the item. You can do all quality. You can search. And as you can see, uh, there is uh, two other items, which are not the same accessories, but it kind of gives you an idea of what people are willing to pay uh, for these accessories. Uh, you can go back also and look at the stats that are needed. So for example, this one is specialization. So you can look. Uh, so an enhanced weapon dead eye one specialization so that's good right um so you can see what kind of stats so that gives you a nice idea and then you can look for the price and all that stuff so that's going to help you to be able to filter out quickly your items uh if you're if you're unsure you're like okay i know this perk is good i don't know if that class needs uh that that stats bonus on top of it so the little website is going to be able to quickly uh, allow you to go through all your item and then when you realize that pretty much everything you got is not that great you're simply going to press the button here. I'm going to keep this one, though. Simply going to press that button. Uh, and uh, 
pretty much get everything in there. There we go. Remove that one. We're just going to disenchant everything. Dismantle. Okay. Good to go. There we go. And then we're going to try to sell that one a little bit later on. Hopefully this was helpful. This is probably going to help you out uh, generate a lot of gold. Um, obviously, uh, if you're playing on NA Europe server right now, most of tier one and tier two accessories aren't selling for that much. You're probably going to start earning a little bit more gold with epic legendary accessories in tier three. But everything, honestly, ends up selling at some point. There's some people that are trying to make some build in Tier 1 and Tier 2, even though it's not necessarily super worth it. But uh, it's something that you can look into to start earning a little bit of extra gold. Hopefully that was helpful. And uh, yeah, see you next time.